5.42 a.m. The main reason why I like waking up early in the mornings is because the town and everything is so quiet and calm. You usually don't get this around sunset just because everybody's out. That's the time to be out, so it's nice. It's it's relaxing. Even though you're, like, you're tired, I don't feel like at the urge and everything. I need to hurry up and get going, but I decided to wake up early just to get some editing done because I am behind on editing and the morning time was the best time that I thought that I can get stuff done. I was thinking of kind of going around the city and maybe taking some photos, but the Solano is very small, so I didn't really need to do that, and I've already taken photos from yesterday. Today we're going to Millet, 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 something like that. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's somewhere around that. It has a national forest I think we're going to be stopping at, but yes, I'm excited. So while I'm editing, I'm actually generating proxies right now. I decided to kind of take pictures of what I can see from the top of the boat. And I'm just shooting around and then I see this lady just watering her plants on top of her house. Like, and it just spoke to me. It just, I really do like people and I think kind of singling her out and just focusing on her and just kind of almost telling a story that of her watering her plants is, has really helped me kind of figure out street photography wise on like what I want to show. I was able to take my time and take a lot of photos. One thing that I've noticed is I wasn't taking enough photos when I would do street photography. I would just take one photo and move on and be like scared. But since I have a long lens, I'm farther away. I can really focus on her, show her house, show like her surroundings and all of that and kind of get different angles and figure out what photos I want from that. So even though I haven't seen the final results, but you have, I feel like I really got a good photo of like what I've wanted to shoot. It just it felt right. I don't know how to explain it. I've just been shooting for a long time and when I'm shooting photos, some things just feel right and it feel good. So that's how I know that a photo's also good. But yeah, I, I'm just kind of dishing out little tips here and there as I see it. If anybody has any advice or like wants to relate, just let me know because I'm learning. I'm learning as I go and I just want to document the whole process. Like I said, this is the whole reason for it. So we are off to Mijet, Mijet and supposedly there's a place called lakes or something i was talking to one of the people that work on the boat and they were saying there's minerals in the water that help you float but that are really good for the skin so we're going to figure out what that is it's a national park it should be pretty cool we're at a nice little swim spot the water is nice and clear so we're going to see if we can do those over under photos and we can actually see stuff yesterday we weren't able to see anything underwater is too deep but now we got some stuff going on so we're going to See how that looks. I did a blood test of the GoPro, but we're gonna pick up this. Aaliyah's gonna pick up this bottle down here. Hopefully, audio is okay. I hope. We'll see. We are in Mijet National Park, I think that's how you call it. Side note, little side tip is if you go to school and have a student ID, always keep it on you. Reason is because you get discounts at places like this if you're a student. So that's kind of why I always keep my ID on me, just for instances like this. I've used it twice, once at a garden in Denver and now here. So it would have been 125 kuno, which would have been, I don't know how much. I'll show it up on screen, but it was 70. 
instead. So with that, now we're hiking to the small lake. They call them lakes, so there's a big lake and a small lake. The small lake has minerals in it that are really good for the skin and it helps you float, I guess. So we're just gonna do that. We have about an hour until dinner is. So I don't really know what else. I lost my train of thought. I'm hiking, I'm tired. This is pretty cool. You got this kind of going up. I don't know, all you viewers, let me darken that down for you guys. Yep, it looks cool, right? No fires. Leah, I don't want you building no fires in here, okay? Okay, I'll try to keep it under control. Yeah, you keep it under control. But anyway, I am gonna get so fit on this trip. I'm excited, I'm pumped, I'm geeked, I'm, uh, let's see this lake. Getting my tourist on. You can pause that if you want. What? You getting your tourist on? Oh, you best believe it. meant to actually look at that sign. <laughs> I was joking around saying I was getting my tourist on where I really wasn't, but I meant to look at that sign, so to see if we, what the rules are and stuff. What's cool with national parks is that they're all set trails and everything. They tell you where to go and this and that, but we're so used to going off trail, not national parks, but just kind of going exploring into nature and just finding things that doing that, I feel like we get a much better much better result in terms of what we're looking for just because I feel like we've discovered it on our own instead of like oh follow this trail and you'll see this where pretty much anybody can go and see it so just like yesterday just like yesterday in Solano that was nice I really like that I mean I do like getting up but this is cool but it is pretty much like what we've been seeing on the boat so <laughs> so that was what you were gonna say in your vlog yeah if you want to hear me say the same thing in like a couple different words Head on over to my channel. <laughs> okay. Self plug. <laughs> I don't even like really want to take pictures. Oh, I forgot to mention that when we were swimming earlier today, we saw a couple sea urchins. And so everybody knows about sea urchins. If you don't, you don't want to get pricked by one because you're not going to have a good time. Supposedly they're poisonous. I don't know if there's difference between them, but you can't pull out the little pricklies out of your foot. You just got to wait until your foot naturally releases them into the wild so it usually takes about a month that's not fun and we heard something about sea urchins we don't know if they're here but it's got to be on your mind just like malaria and oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i mean mosquitoes will bite you like you, you just you got to be careful out there it will happen it can happen there's always a chance so stay safe kids what do you what do you what are you shooting what are you visualizing I don't know why, but after swimming in this water, my voice sounds robotronic to me and same with her voice. I don't know if it's our voices that are doing this or if it's my ears, but I'm just saying this so that I can hear for myself. Do you think my voice sounds robotronic? Anyway, yes, even though we were kind of like bummed, we wanted some epic views. It was actually really nice and really refreshing just to kind of float out there and just sit out there, listen to nature because everything was nice and calm and still. So it was just very relaxing with the GoPro the water was murky and stuff so we were just trying to get with what we can but it was nice to kind of just relax and just chill you know just chill so I'm happy that we went out here I was just kind of like I want to shoot content well this is your content for me talking to you guys anyway I don't know if this vlog is long enough I haven't really been ending my vlogs for some of them unless I know that they're long enough I'm not sure how long I want my vlogs to be but I think I may end it here if you're seeing this now then it's then it's ending so subscribe bye i want to add the water thing to mine because i was i said i was gonna let them know once i got out so i'm just gonna stand right back where i was and just cut this in there we're all learning yeah. watch your vlog process ready <laughs> no don't watch my vlog process um, the water 
As for the water itself, it was, I would say, warmer than the water out there. I don't know like what four degrees Celsius warmer feels like, but it was definitely a little bit warmer. Also, the clips were pretty murky. I think it's from the minerals, but that's what we could do today. Braxton's vlogging as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Got like three outros. <laughs>